Hello, let's talk about completing the square today. So before we move on to the main topic, let's look at something that you already know. For example, you have this equation, and if someone asks you to solve it, you will be able to solve it easily. So all we have to do is expand the bracket, which will give you x square plus 14x plus 49 and you have to remember your minus 100. So combining the 49 and the minus 100 will give you minus 51. So this is essentially what you get when you expand out the expression on the left. Now, completing the square simply means that we want to get from here back to here. So what's the point? The point is that it helps you when you want to solve an equation like that. So for example, if you are given this equation, x squared plus 14x minus 51 equals to 0, and you are asked to find x. Okay, let me write it nicer, find x. So, based on what you have learned previously, like the cross method, you will not be able to solve this. So today, we are going to learn this method known as completing the square. So, if we were to jump the gun a little bit, and you can see that this x squared plus 14x minus 51 is equal to this. So therefore, we can write x plus 7 squared minus 100 equals to 0 because this is exactly this. And to solve this, it's really quite simple. All we have to do is to bring the 100 to the other side. Right? Minus 100 brings bring to the other side is plus 100. Now we square root both sides. I'm going to write it here. x plus 7 is equals to plus minus 10. And x will give you minus, if this is a minus 10, minus 7, it gives you a minus 17. This is a plus 10, minus 7 will give you 3. So x will have two answers. So you can see that using completing the square is really quite useful. So now the main question is how exactly do you get from here? If this is your starting point, how do you get back here? So to illustrate that, we will have to look at another example. So let me write it here. So let's look at this. x squared plus 6x minus 4 equals to 0. Okay, so we want to change this equation into this form. x plus or minus a blank square plus or minus another blank equals to 0. So it's something like closed passage. You want to find out what exactly is here and here. Oh, for that, let me bring your memory back to a formula that you already know. a plus b whole thing square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So as you can see, it, when we want to change this to this, it is similar to when we want to change this back to this. So x corresponds to a in this case. So x square plus, and in this 2ab, it corresponds to 6x. 6x. Now, minus 4 doesn't correspond to b, but I will show you why later. But the key point is this, the 6 in front of the coefficient x. So if we look at this, you can try to infer what is your 2ab. So we can infer that You know, since a is x, b will be 3. Because 
2 times x times 3 will give you 6x. So we have found out that this is 3. So we can put up or oh, fill, fill in the blank. So x plus 3 square. But x plus 3 square is not this. Right? x plus 3 square, if we were to expand it, it will be, let me write it here, x plus 3 square is equal to x square plus 6x plus 9. Right? So what we want is we want this. And this is certainly not equal to this because there is a plus 9 here. So you want the whole thing to be x squared plus 6x minus 4. So what do you do? So all you have to do is to minus 13. Why? Because this is this, right? So 9 minus 13 will give you this. So what we have just done is that we have collapsed this into this and they are basically the same equation. So this is the completed the square version of this. So now we have the completed the square version, we can proceed to solve the equation using the same method as what we have done previously. And maybe I write it here, x plus 3 whole thing square minus 13 equals to 0. I bring the 13 to the right hand side, I will have plus 13 and if I were to square root both sides, I will have plus minus 13. Always remember the plus and the minus. Some students forget the minus, but minus 13, minus square root of 13 times minus square root of 13 will still also give you 13. So x will be equals to square root 13 minus 3 or minus square root 13 minus 3. So there you have it.